Welcome. This video, I'm going to use the distrib distributive property to um, work backwards to find, so I can get the, from the factors, I can get the actual area of a rectangle. So if you remember my last video, I had a rectangle and I found my factors because I already knew the area. But what if I knew my dimensions already? So if I use the same numbers as before, if you remember this was 6 and this was 12 and 5. Well, what's that whole length? That whole length is 17. So I have a rectangle, it's an area of, sorry, it has length and width or a base and a height of 6 and 17. What's the area of that rectangle? Well, hmm, let's see here. I can, I can just do 6 times 17, but you know what? My, uh, my math facts for my 17 multiplication table isn't very strong. So what can I do? Well, let's check this out. I'm going to find perhaps some uh, friendly numbers, friendly numbers where I can split this up. If I take this one here, I can split this up into two nice sections. I can split this up into 17 can be decomposed, or if you remember my, uh, my pair bonds, it can be split up to 10 and 7. So this length of 17 can actually be divided or split up into 10 and 7. All right. So before I had my 6 times 17, 6 times 17, and you know what? I really don't know what that is. But what else can I do? I can split it up into 6 and 7. This can be, or sorry, 10 and 7. That can be split up to 10 plus 7. But remember, I have the 6. 6 is times 17, so 6 is times 10 plus 7. And this here, folks, that is the distributive property. From here, what I can do is I can take this area, I can find the area of this one, and add it to the area of this one here. Well, let's write that down. How would I find the area of this rectangle? I would do 6 times 10. Just right here, 6 times 10. So I have 6 times 10. But is that the whole rectangle yet? No, that's only this bit. I still need this bit over here. Well, what are the dimensions of this bit? Remember, opposite sides of a rectangle are equal. So that means this side is 6 and this side is 7. So I'm now going to do, first I have 6 times 10. And then now, and then I'm going to do 6 times 7. Just like that. And look at, that's my 6 times my 7 right there. So I have 6 times 10 and then 6 times 7. So that's 6 times 10, this area, and then 6 times 7, that's that area there. And when I add them all up together, I'll have the area of the entire thing. So let's do that. Down here, I have 6 times 10. 6 times 10 is, of course, 60 plus 6 times 7. Ooh, 6 times 7. What's 6 times 7? Good thing I know my multiplication tables, and that is 42. Add them both together. 60 plus 40, that is 100. 100 plus I have this 2 over here, so it's 102. And there we go. My area for this whole thing would be 102 squared units. And just like that, I can have one expression for, uh, or one, one expression here for my distributive property, and I can expand that more to my second expression here. And just to connect it back real quick, I can have 6 times 10 plus 7, which when I put it together, I get 6 times 17, or I can do 6 times 10. So I have 6 times 10 plus 7, or I can do them separately. I can do 6 times 10, 6 times 10, and then I can add 6 times 7, 6 times 7. And those are my two ways um, of finding the area of a rectangle using this distributive property. Hope it helped.